Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio Insights. This is Jeremy, KJ7IAZ. And uh, today we're gonna be installing the antenna we built last weekend. So stick around and we'll show you that. All right, so I'm up here on my roof. We've got to crouch down to help kind of block some of the wind noise. It's a little windy today. But what we got is we got the copper tape stacked dipole. Um, and so what I've done is I've taped over the copper. So this is a dipole and then up there is a dipole too. And we have it harnessed together with some 75 ohm cable down here. This uh, impedance should be around that 36 range in theory um but uh so then we'll go from 50 ohm down to the radio so we're, we won't be able to get a perfect swr without doing a, a comprehensive match but again the idea of this is to make it simple for somebody and to show them what actually can work so this is what i have on my wind link station now it's just a copper j pole this thing's four or five years old still works just fine looks a little rough but could probably use a little maintenance but uh we're gonna try to do something different and uh we're gonna put this on this mount here. We're just gonna get it up here as high as I feel comfortable doing. Put a couple zip ties around it, a couple pieces of tape, get it up as high as we can. And um, it's gonna be a huge improvement. Just the height alone of the top dipole over the J-pole, you, you know, if you measured the top of the J-pole to the top of the top um, dipole here, you're gonna have a substantial difference. You know, you're gonna have you know, even probably about 10 foot difference in height just with that. Plus it's gonna be a little bit straighter. <laughs> J-pole is kind of tipped over a little bit. It's not gonna make a huge difference, but it'll make a little bit of difference. Plus having the stacked, um, it will actually take that uh, angle of radiation and squish it down, kind of flatten it like a pancake. So we're gonna be able to get across this whole valley and kind of have it flat down there. So. Um, kind of cool location to put an antenna up so let's get it started i don't know how well i'm able to, be able to do this on the roof in the wind with uh, only two hands and no helper but uh, i'll see what i can get all right so we're gonna get to it i just it, the wind's blowing so bad that it's kind of miserable up here but um especially with just nobody to hold the camera or nothing but uh I'll show you kind of what i did i just got this thing lifted up it's kind of up here where i wanted it i got these uh nice zip ties with kind of they're kind of rubber line zip ties they work really good they're heavy duty um, I'll put a couple pieces of tape around it too, but um, up there. So I've got, uh, I don't know. It's five feet, nine feet, probably of extra height, roughly, just looking at it. But anyway, so it's up there. Um, we'll get this connected and stuff too. So what I got here is, uh, I'll, I'll get some more zip ties. Here's the zip ties. Um, kind of show you that they got the rubber lining on them and they work really good because they kind of sit You know, you're gonna hooked up of course, it's hard to do with two hands Edit some of this here but Get one hand here. All I'm doing is just getting it down here tight Which it's nice because then when you're working with the PVC you can actually get it to kind of stick and then it's not going to slide through the plastic on plastic. You got the rubber. I'll tighten that up by hand a little bit with just my hands are free. Um, and then we got this pigtail. This is just going to go straight to here. I think this will reach the way it's... We're just going to hook this up. That'll be a good length. And then it just goes, kind of wraps through that toroid to get some of the common mode current off of it. Um, I was going to check this, I guess, first here. Let's get that up. we we'll come back and secure it a little better, but... I want to test out with the nano BNA, see what it looks like up here. If you remember from the other video, it was a little bit off. It wasn't perfect, but let's just see what happens to it when we get it up here. Let's see here. If I go in, I'm resing it really good. Yeah. Like, I'm at like 148, really good. But if I go over to where I want it to be, I'm at like two, slightly under two SWR. So it's a little bit short. So my measurements for what I'm doing here would be a little bit short. And I didn't make any room with the tape or anything to make an adjustment. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it really. Um, 
and I can even check this out for the at like 440. We're all right there too. Yeah, we're like at 1.2 on uh, 440, so we're actually the way that resonates out. We actually are working better on 440 than we are uh, 145, but uh, that's all right. We're, we're going to use it. I think it's going to be a good antenna either way. We can down the road maybe tune it in a little bit better. All right, so we got that. We got three zip ties on it. If I ever have any issues with it, I'll try to do a video and show you guys what I ran into down the road. So if you're watching this in the future, uh, then we'll see what to do differently or whatnot too. So uh, other than that, let's go in and uh, see what it looks like uh, on the other end of the cable and give it a whirl. Then we'll go back out to the field and do another field test and see if it's actually in real world use, if it's any better. All right, guys. I'm out here to do a test. I'm gonna show you what we what we've got. Um, it might be noisy and stuff, but I just got my mobile antenna there. That's just a Comet two bander. Um, nothing special. It runs in. Normally goes to my FTM 400. I have it hooked up to the IC 705, running Vera FM on the Surface Pro. You've seen that in my other videos. I'm running it off of a just a little battery so I can get the full 10. So it's what I want to do, and I'm going to run out a ping you'll see that the ping if you're familiar with this i'm going to ping it to the um home station and this is right now we're on the old antenna and we're going to do this again on the new antenna but i'm going to do uh i'm going to send to my station at 10 5 and 1 and i'm going to record the um output that it gives me or the, the feedback that it gives me on that and then I'm also going to monitor the S level on my rig when it's receiving. I'll kind of take note of that too and see where, where that's going at. So let's check this out. I'm getting ready. I'm going to hit uh, ping here. I got my pen and paper ready to make notes. Right now we're at 100%. We're doing 10 watts. So we're going to ping this and we're going to see what it comes back as. I think I'm going to do it twice, make sure the number's close. We got plus 17.4 and a plus 19. Let's do it one more time. Plus 18. Let's just use 18. I don't, we don't need to be super scientific. We just need to see uh, kind of what we're at here. Comparison. I think it's going to be a drastic enough difference. So now we're going to, I'm set up to five watts there. And we're going to try this again. And I'm watching the radio as I do this. So we're 13. Thirteen, fourteen, and 12. So 12. So let's just take the middle number again. We'll just take 13. And I'm getting about an S8 on the re on the response back. So let's take this down. Oops. See another one on accident. Um, we'll take it down to one watt, see if we can get there. And I'm hearing it about an S8, so I'm going to write down an S8. So we got a 2.9. I'm going to write down the S level as 8 on this one because it's pretty consistent watching that. I'll show you. And then uh, that was a zero. 
and a two, like two, a zero, and two. Barely getting there, 1.7. We'll just do a two on that one. So, and I wrote down the eight. So let's go, uh, we'll go put the uh, other antenna up and we'll come do this again. All right, we're back out here testing again. Sun's in a different part, spot, so it's a little bit harder to see, but we are ready to test this new antenna out. I'm going to do a ping here and we'll see where we're at. Well, we definitely have more signal, it's a little over nine. So we're probably, yeah, we're, it's like nine to 9.1. One bar over nine, but so that's nine. I'll just call that nine. So that's a whole S unit. That's, that's, uh, that's a huge difference. We went from eight to nine on the uh, S meter. So that's huge. But I did know we're at 14.9. I'm going to hit this two more times. Um, see what that looks like. 10, 9, 15, 10, and 15, 10, and 12. 11, 6, 12 again. 15, 10, and 14, 9. So basically, I'm just going to put 12, which is a lot less signal to noise coming back. So I don't know. Maybe the antenna is picking up more noise over there. I don't know. Let's go uh, see what we do if we do five watts. And then we'll ping again. We'll do a few of these. So five, six, that's five, nine, six, one. I'm going to call that just six. That's way less signal to noise ratio there. Um, let's go down to one watt and see. Oops, get back over here. And then one watt. And what's interesting, it didn't even come back. Okay, let's try to go to two watts, just to see. That's super interesting. I would have expected that to receive a lot better just based on the height. But maybe it's picking up more noise. I don't know. Maybe put a comment down there if you uh, know. I'm going to put that to three watts. See, just see where we got to go to get it there. So three watts, we got a response, and we're at 5.4. And then we didn't get a response again on three. Yeah, it's 3.9. So we're like at, at three watts. We're at like four. So um, not getting a real good signal doesn't appear. But um, I did pull the radio, the RF connection off and scanned the SWR. It was like a 1.45. So I wonder if I bumped something on the radio. I was really careful, but that doesn't mean I didn't bump something on it. I could have turned the volume knob a little bit down or uh, up for that matter and just really screwing with it. But uh, I'll do some more testing and whatnot too. But uh, the signal that I'm getting from the station is like, I guess that would be figured out because 3dB is a half an S unit and we got a full S unit. So we're like a 6dB difference over here on the signal that we're getting, but something got changed. Something got bumped, I think. It's the only thing that I can explain it because I'm getting a way better signal coming from there, but it's it's not hearing as good, which leads me to believe I bumped the volume button, a volume knob on the radio a little bit too, and that would put less into the computer and give me a worse response. So I will check that out a little bit too, but I think, um, I think that's just user error or some sort of setup issue on my end. I'll, I'll, I'll fine tune that a little bit and uh, maybe do another test. I'll let you see. But there's a noisy helicopter going by. I wonder what we're doing. Anyway, um, yeah, the S meter is uh, indicate, indicative of. Uh, indicative indicative of, of a lot more signal getting to me over here in this spot. So that, I mean, that's a lot. Uh, one whole S unit is, is a measurable, definitely a measurable difference, definitely. And I think that has to do with the height 
uh, along with the, the stacked stuff there. So the stacked dipole there. So I think it's working. Uh, I'm going to check that volume knob and I'll see if I can get back out here um, and, and see if we can get a little bit better signal. Well, there you have it. It's up and it's working. So uh, I guess is what I figured out is uh, I did bump the radio and I screwed up the volume knob and then uh, messing with that I ended up getting my signal link that I used kind of bumped the delay knob and had all kinds of problems getting it tuned back up because Vera FM and delay did not work together very well. But anyway, so I did get a uh, whole S unit better out of it in that one location and that location is about five miles away from the house. Um, so that's a that's a significant uh, amount of gain. That should be uh, six dB basically measured from there. So we've got a combination of a few things. We got the height, and we've got uh, just the height of the antenna itself, and we've also got the angle of the antenna got a little better, and now we have the stacked dipole too. So that's bringing that that pancaking that shape of that radiation field better. So it's just putting the signal where we want it better. So. There you have it. So you can see that you can build an antenna and get yourself a little bit of gain. So this would be a really useful thing um, for somebody that's you know got a handheld or something and just wants to get a little bit more omnidirectional range uh, to talk to everybody if they're doing APRS or you know digital modes like uh, uh, Winlink or something like that. So check it out. Play along and uh, let me know what you think below. And go ahead and make sure you you subscribe so you can catch the next one. Thanks. Seventy three.